I just pulled into the grocery store. I'm gonna go ahead and get grocery shopping done fairly early this morning, 9.16. Um, Eric's taking Wyatt to his guitar lesson down towards Cincinnati at School of Rock. So I am just gonna get grocery shopping done, head home and get dinner in the crock pot. We're having buffalo chicken sliders. Thank you, Lindsay, for sharing the recipe. <laughs> so that's a we're gonna do for dinner tonight the boys have haircuts today I have a haircut today that's about all that's going on grocery store guitar lesson haircuts that's all we got <laughs> it's rainy and very windy the wind slowed down a little bit but it's still pretty windy um there were a lot of branches down in the on the roads in the neighborhood and people's inflatable Christmas decorations didn't fare very well in all of the wind that we've had since yesterday so let's go get this grocery shopping done. I brought coffee. Oh. <laughs> I am soaked. As soon as I was like walking to the register, I could see the rain start to come down. It's like pouring and blowing, but I always remind myself of all the years we lived in the desert and we never saw rain and how much I missed it. So I always remind myself to be thankful for the rain because yes, it may be a pain to load your groceries into the car <laughs> and I'm gonna have to unload them at the house in the rain. It may be a pain, but rain is a great thing. I think it's actually slowing down a little bit now too. After I came home and got all the groceries put away, I got a couple of things done around the house, um, vacuumed the couch, got some laundry going, just kind of picked up and cleaned up the kitchen a bit. I got dinner going in the crock pot back there. I'll put the recipe down below. Super, super simple. I can't wait to try it later. What else? Eric's got the boys out getting haircuts right now. And I am gonna go sit on the sofa 
with that dog over there that just we can't keep down anymore he's <laughs> he's feeling good and he's he's wild again um so i'm gonna go sit down with him and i'm going to knit until i have to go to my haircut at about two o'clock okay i thought i would share my socks really quickly so i have my cozy knitter socks in this bag from daisy girl and company i have the heel done on one these are this one's mine and so i need to do the heel on my second sock and then my mother-in-law's and then do today's stripes on these as well and then my mother-in-law's i will do one more stripe on her leg and then do her heel her foot is not as long as mine so it's smaller than mine so i needed to do one less stripe on my leg to give me one more stripe on my foot <laughs> and hopefully that'll work out if it doesn't work out perfectly i'm not phased it's fine um but i think that should work out good 10 stripes on my leg 11 stripes on her leg so this is what i'm going to work on for a bit today and get these caught up I've just gotten to the hair salon. Look <laughs> at how long this is. It's time to go get this taken care of. Let's be honest. I'm gonna get in the chair and say, um, take the bare minimum off. <laughs> but I don't know, I'm tempted to just like chop, but I don't think I'm brave enough. All right, I'm done. She dried it all nice and straight for me. It looks so pretty and it's still crazy long. Guys, I had four and a half inches taken off. <laughs> I told her, I said, I keep going back and forth. Do I want to cut it like up to here or keep it long? And she said, why don't we kind of go in between and see how you like that? So, still crazy long, but I love it. I do, I, I feel it's crazy just four and a half inches and like someone else washing your hair and blow drying it straight for you just makes you feel like a new woman. I texted Eric and I said, I should have told you you had to take me out to dinner tonight because I feel fancy now that I got a haircut. <laughs> Okay, I'm going home and I make cookies. I laid some butter and eggs out um, before I left. So yeah, I might make some cookies.